Hi everyone, this is Susie. So today we're going to be making some Cinco de Mayo vegan flautas. And if you don't know what flautas are, they, it's a Spanish word for flute. So these are the ingredients we'll be using. We're going to be making them out of potatoes that I boiled here with some salt and a bay leaf. And then we're also going to be making a guacamole, a red tomato sauce, and I have my homemade cashew sour cream, some lettuce, and some corn tortillas. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to roast the tomatoes and the chile. These are chile de arbol. If for some reason you don't want to use these, you can always use some of the hot sauce that I have the recipe for. I'll leave the link below and instead of roasting these you can just take a little bit of that and you blend it together when you blend um, your salsa, okay? And also some people like to roast the garlic that way the, the flavor is more mild. I like to use it raw when I'm gonna blend it so I don't roast my garlic but that is up to you as well. So I turned on the comal with some aluminum foil and to speed up the process I just cut the tomatoes in half and I'm going to roast them now. So at this point you can add your chiles and just make sure that you watch them so that they don't burn because these will be done in like 10 seconds, okay? And then you just take them out when they're done or you just roast your tomatoes and then we'll add the chili later. Okay, so I took out the bay leaf, I strained the potatoes and while they're still hot I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of cumin. I have about three cups of the boiled potatoes and I'm going to add about a fourth of a teaspoon of cumin but you can add as much as you like and then some ground black pepper and then I'm just going to mash them. What I have done in the past, I don't have any Mexican cheese today, some of my vegan uh, queso fresco that I make but in the past I have used, well I used to use the regular cheese back in the day um, but I think you could still use the Mexican cheese. The only thing that I would do is if you do have some lying around after you mash your potatoes, then just go ahead and add some of the vegan queso fresco, stir it in there so it'll give it a little bit of like that salty, cheesy flavor. Or if you have any favorite vegan cheese that you like or that you make, you can just go ahead and add that to this mixture and that'll be really nice because it does taste really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mash this and add any salt if I think that it needs any, and I'll be right back. It's been about 10 minutes and I just flipped those over. So it's been 5 minutes and now I'm just going to turn it off because they're ready. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to make this guacamole. I haven't done this in a while, I confess, so we'll see how it goes. So I have the one tomatillo that I chopped, this, the one serrano, clove of garlic, one scallion, and a bunch of cilantro small bunch of cilantro. I'm going to try to give this a blend. So that's as far as I could take it. So now I'm just going to add half of a avocado. Okay, and now I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and some lemon or lime juice, about a teaspoon or so and maybe a little splash of water and I'm going to blend that again and that's what it looks like so I think it needs a tiny bit more water so just leave it as runny as you like it okay so that amount made about one cup of the guacamole and it is delicious yay we did it so now for the tomato hot sauce I just put the roasted tomatoes in there. I'm going to add the garlic and a little bit of salt and we're just going to give this a blend, okay? I forgot the chile! <laughs> okay, so at this point you would also add your uh, chile de arbol in there if you roasted them or if you're adding some of the hot sauce, you just go ahead and add a little bit of the hot sauce according to how spicy you like it and now we're gonna give it a blend, okay? I'll be right back. So the good thing about having this hot sauce is that if this is not spicy enough, let's say you didn't roast enough chile, you can just go ahead and keep adding chile until it gets to the spice that you like it. And you don't have to be worrying about adding, you know, roasting or cooking or boiling your chiles. And 
like I told you, I use this on everything. I literally use this on everything. So this is a great thing to have. Okay, so it's ready. So here is the tomato hot sauce. And then also if you wanted to serve this with just like chips and stuff, you can just let it cool and add some chopped white onion and some chopped cilantro just on top. And then you can just serve that for with chips, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to prepare the flautas, and because they, the potatoes seemed a little bit bland, I added a little bit of onion and garlic powder to it, and this is optional if you don't have to. And also, you can use any type of filling that you like. I'm using potatoes this time, but you can use anything that you normally like in your tacos dorados or flautas, okay? So we're just going to add a little bit of the potato, and... I'm just going to try to seal this with a toothpick, that way it doesn't unravel. Okay, just like that. I think I forgot to mention that I did warm up the tortillas, I don't know if I said that or not, just so that they can be soft and they would be able to roll, if not they would break. And at this point, you can just go ahead and bake your flautas in the oven, uh, maybe 350, 400 degrees depending on your oven or how quick you want them. And then maybe you might need to turn them over uh, so that they, you know, get crispy on both sides. Um, but I am going to use a tiny bit of oil. And traditionally these are like deep fried or even like fried on your saucepan or something. Shallow fry I think you call that. Um, but I won't do that because that will absorb like an enormous amount of oil. And I don't want that. But I still want a tiny bit of that flavor. So... This is why I just brush them with a little bit of oil, tiny bit, like, like that. And now I'm just going to um, bake those in the oven, okay? Okay, so I baked the flautas for about 12 minutes in the oven. And I did it in my little toaster oven, and I flipped them over halfway through. And this is what they look like. I just let them cool a little bit. And the good thing about this recipe, I think, is that you'll be able to serve it like room temperature. Mm, so it'll be perfect for summer. Okay, so now we're just going to take out the toothpicks. Ah! Wish me luck. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Ah! I'm so excited. Okay, and of course this will look better if there's more flautas because there will be more room for you to... Um, decorate them, but since I'm only having two for lunch, I'm just going to do this. Oops. Here's my guacamole. You obviously don't have to do them like this, you can just put them over um, horizontally. But because it is Cinco de Mayo, I thought I would attempt <laughs> to do something a little bit more creative, so I'm going to try to make the Mexican flag, the colors of the Mexican flag. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. And there you have it. Okay, so let's give these a try. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mmm, this is so good. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Messy. Messy but good. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. These are so good, you guys. Oh my god, they're spicy, but they're really good. Ah, I'm so excited. So the reason why I didn't make the sour cream is because there's already like a ton of recipes, the videos out there for how to make your own vegan sour cream. This one just has like cashews, pine nuts, um, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, salt, and a little bit of nutritional yeast. And did I say lemon juice? I think I did. Okay. And I just blended that up and that's it. But you can use your favorite or you can use tofuti. 
or I'll also leave the link below on how I jazz up my Tofuti sour cream, my Tofuti sour cream in case you haven't seen that video yet. But these are really good. Oh my goodness, that guacamole is amazing and that hot sauce is amazing too. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. So also the hot sauce, it yielded about one cup of the amount as well, almost the same as the guacamole. And I think that's it. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, take care. Bye.